I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about properties of power series. In problem number 47, we'd like to find a power series for the function f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared and then find the power series' interval of convergence. Okay, so uh, first of all we're starting with this function f of x and it is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And again, I see this is very much like a geometric series form. Remember, a geometric series looks like once summed up is a over 1 minus r. So in this case, my a would be 1 and my r would be negative x squared. All right, so if that's the case, uh, that we have this form 1 over 1 minus x squared, which is what I have, then I can write f of x as a power series, sum k going from 0 to infinity of a, which is 1, times uh, r, which is negative x squared, raised to the power k. So just using our knowledge of geometric series, we are able to write this function 1 over 1 plus x squared as a power series. Now the other question is, okay, then what is the interval of convergence for this power series? Well, I know that geometric series converge if the absolute value of r is less than 1. So the absolute value of r, well r is negative x squared, I want that to be less than 1. Another way of writing negative x squared's absolute value is just that the absolute value of x squared needs to be less than 1. And when is the absolute value of x squared less than 1? It's if negative 1 is less than x is less than 1. And again, we could ask the question, okay, well, what if x is actually equal to 1? If x is 1, then I'd have negative 1 to the k, uh, the sum of negative 1 to the k. That oscillates, so it diverges. If I plugged in negative 1, then I'd have also negative 1 to the k, which oscillates and diverges. So it diverges at 1, it diverges at negative 1, but it converges everywhere in between. So this interval from negative 1 to 1, not including the endpoints, is my interval of convergence.